to the ball lake yesterday evening with the dog and the cat flap and what have you. Today has been a bit of a change of plan. We were going to go see family, but instead we're going to have to fix this bloody door. Right, so first things first, Jim wants me to stop by the tip and drop some shelving off that I pulled down last weekend. Um, I need to go into Leicester to B&Q, which is the DIY shop, if you guys don't know, to find a panel that might be able to put in the door. Failing that, there's something I need to buy off lot online, which won't come till Tuesday. And I also need to buy some dog tranquilizers from the pet shop because, well, I think tonight is gonna to be pretty bad for him because it's the first weekend since bonfire night, which was a couple of days ago. And usually there's a lot of fireworks and I think he's gonna go berserk. So if we can calm him down, that would be good. And then I need to edit yesterday's video, which really needs to be up before six. I've, so far, since I caught up with videos, I've been really good at getting videos up by six, trying to get into that routine. But today I think that might be pushing it if I'm gonna get this door done, but we will see. So first stop, the tip. I'm exhausted carrying those shelves to the car. One task down, two more to go. Finally made it to B&Q. Only it took me about an hour and 10 minutes to do 19 miles, mainly because of idiots on the road, including one guy that jumped a red light and nearly went into me. Someone that tried to go and take the front of the car off, changing lanes on a roundabout. And someone that also was behind me on the phone when they should be driving. And what's worse of all, it was all the same guy, those three instances. He was just useless. Um, and a load of really shitty drivers too. So I'm not exactly pleased. Uh, hopefully I can get what I need from you. If not, I think I'm going to be really, really pissed off. Um, but after this, I have got the pet shop. Made it back, safe and sound, but I'm very hungry now because I've not had any lunch. Um, we got this for the doggy. Adaptil. I don't know if you guys have used it. We're going to give it a go tonight and hope it is of some use because I think the fireworks could be quite bad. It says to administer two hours before the expected event or whatever. So we've given it to him in advance. It's about half four now. So by the time it's dark and people might be setting off fireworks, it should be acting. He's a cutie. While we were out, or while I was out, Jen stayed at home, um, I decided to pick up some tester pots of paint. Um, they're all quite a pale colour. I'm thinking this one here might be our favourite. It's kind of got a slight pinkness to it, so it's quite a warm, a warm white. So what we're going to do is, the walls at the moment are kind of like a magnolia. They're a very yellowy cream here. Uh, we're going to put the test pots on the wall and hopefully one of the colours will prefer of the others. The idea is we kind of want white walls to sort of like lighten the space up and make it feel a bit bigger. Also it means that we can we can add a colour to the room with accessories like curtains and soft furnishings so that we can change the, the colour of the room at will. We've got coloured lights as well um, which we can change on the fly so we can really turn any colour, any room into any colour we'd like um, but we can only do that if we've got quite pale walls. If we've got coloured walls like in the in here in the um, in the lounge um, the very the very blue colour which is very nice and all that but if you put a red light in there it kind of looks a bit weird um, so we're going to try and lighten the walls up maybe leave the front room for the time being um, but we're going to do the rooms that we haven't decorated for quite a while and we will do those and it would be nice to see, but we do need to see what kind of white. White, white, I think, is going to be too bright. So we want something with a slight warmer tint, ideally, I think. Um, but that's why we've got the test pots, so we can find out. We decided to give Shep a little den. He might want somewhere nice and dark to kind of relax. So we found his crate, we pulled it out. And here he is. He seems quite chilled and happy. So we just pulled his crate out, put a blanket over it, just so it's nice and dark. And then if we turn the lights out and put the radio, I don't know, nearby, hopefully it should drown out some of the fireworks. The kettle's going at the moment, so I need to turn that off. Um, it's going... <whistles> Might be able to hear it. Shep, it's okay, mate. I'm really hoping that having somewhere nice and sort of 
dark and relaxing but with us in the room might be really helpful for the dog uh, we're not gonna leave him on his own but it means that you know it's somewhere you can retreat to hopefully fingers crossed that will work that and the drugs so it turns out that next door but one have kindly set off a bajillion fireworks and scared the crap out of our dog yet again so thanks next door but one thanks a lot why couldn't you just go to a firework display like most other people why did you have to set some fireworks out outside the back garden why why did you have to do that seems like next door but one may have calmed down with their fireworks so jen and i are going to put the dog in the crate just in case and paint the wall well little sections of it anyway so this is moon shimmer unfortunately you probably can't get a good idea of what it looks like you can only get an idea of what it looks like compared to what it's next to but this what i'm seeing on the screen doesn't quite reflect what it looks like the um this paint's quite a bit darker in reality um and this is a bit darker as well i guess his head's down good right guys so we have our four whites on the uh, on the wall um this is what i thought i would like the most um, but it turns out it's going to be a bit too dark a bit too much color um i'm quite drawn personally to this top right but i think it might be a bit too stark and a bit too white the one on the left here is the one that jen prefers and i think we're both in agreement that the bottom two this one's a bit cream and that one's a bit brown so once they're once it's dried, um, we're going to test these white ones again, maybe give them a second coat for tomorrow, and we're going to nip to the shop and get some brilliant white just to border around it, just to give us a reference point as to what like, a proper white actually looks like. The thing is, we don't want such a white white that it's a bit shocking. We want something with a bit of warmth in it so that it's not too cold. We don't want like a blue white. We want more of an orangey white but without being too cream. Which is why we tried to get something with a bit of colour in it. Um, but like we were saying, I think that the top two whites are probably the best. On the camera, it looks like they might actually come across as very similar. I'm not sure if you guys can tell the difference. Um, but the one on this side is probably the warmer of the two. And we most likely, if we had to pick from one of those four, before they dry, we'll probably most likely end up going for that one. Um, but we'll need to see once they dry, I think. Managed to take the dog for a bit of a walk, stretch his legs, get him out of the house. And it wasn't until we got back to the, the house itself that a couple more fireworks went off. And he didn't react too badly, which was good. He kind of just started pulling to get back to the house. Um, so he seems a bit more relaxed than he was. I honestly really do not know how well those, um, that medication stuff had worked. I guess buying something over the counter from was it, a generic pet shop chain is probably not going to be as good as if you bought something from the vet itself. So I think going forward we might need to consider if there's a stronger alternative that our vets can offer. Um, but it looks like the paint on the wall has dried. And I'm really struggling to see much of a difference between these two. Um, but the one on the left is definitely a little less dark and I'm drawn to that one. But I'd like to see what it's like when we've got the daylight and not this uh, incandescent bulb going. The bottom left is just way too dark. It, in fact, it almost blends into the the actual wall itself already. And the bottom right one, I think, is maybe a bit too a bit too coloured, a bit too yellowy, a bit too creamy. And um, so I'm pretty sure it's definitely between these top two. While it was wet, we were drawn to the one on the right. And at the moment, maybe the one on the right, one on the left. We don't know. We'll give it till tomorrow. Maybe put an extra coat on and see what it looks in the daylight. But it's late. It's time for bed. We will go and see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Absolutely everywhere. What do I do now? How am I supposed to get a door fixed this time? It's like 8 o'clock at night. I hope you're feeling sorry for yourself, Shep. He's terrified. <laughs>